Good morning, good day, good day, good day, guys. Uh, this is Kenzo, uh, extra out forex. So, uh, before, actually, this is not like a, an analysis video. It's just that I just need to talk to you, especially maybe you can see the topic. Uh, what to do, actually? What to do? Or uh, after maybe you have this losing, losing streak, you're trying left and right to just lose, trying left and right to just lose. And it happens most of the time, even though sometimes we don't show it. Some people, you know, as traders, this is an industry where people doesn't really show uh, what's really happening on the other side. They only show you the, the other side, which is positive, you see. So, which is bad because some people, they think maybe things are just like that, you see. So, I have some few points. Actually, I can say it's five points for you. Just to try to understand that because uh, actually you can run from uh, you can run away from that so uh, on the screen there i have something very nice there i'm going to actually talk about it on our analysis actually later today we have to go on our daily analysis uh, sorry sorry a, a live session a youtube live session where we should actually analyze uh, whatever it's happening we're supposed to go live yesterday but the power was going off so that's actually difficult on my side, but we'll try, we'll try, we'll try to make sure that everything's fine. That actually is a, a edge finder, which uh, analyzes everything for you. For those people who don't really understand uh, exactly what they trade in mostly, the NASDAQ, the US status, everything's going to be there. Everything's just there. So it makes your job like seriously way too, too simple you can see oh maybe the market we see it's very strong actually it means maybe you might look for uh, for, for nice buys but but since you also have your analysis that is going to help you to take the right decision so i will go through that later on don't worry don't worry because we're trying to get all uh, good things actually out there so yeah, on back on that. So, guys, trading is actually mostly emotional, mostly because you're taking these de uh, decisions. It's financial. You lose this, you lose that. And before I go that, I'm doing this video because yes, actually this January, the last actually, oh today now is is Feb, actually last month, which is January, and also a smaller part of December. Uh, things did not actually go nice, especially when a uh, trading on my side actually yeah some few signals because i don't actually trade everything i trade very very few pairs so which is nasdaq or maybe sometimes gold not every day but i actually focus on nasdaq uh, us status you see so but the market was just going up and down which mostly we can say it's consolidation consolidation or even if maybe the market was going up the thing is we were on a downtrend that was going against my rules or my strategy it was difficult actually just to take a buy when you see that you are on a, a bearish momentum you see it's way too difficult and along the way we thought maybe the market was trying to break uh yeah we did take some few pro uh, trades which were prof uh, profitable but also we had some seriously uh serious negatives that we took and that doesn't mean that maybe it's over when you lose you don't have to just say okay we lost everything just changes like that no you just have to understand thing a uh, few things so i will start with actually one uh, the first point that i actually try to tell myself every day because mostly in trading we don't actually have this group where people just talk guide each other try to help each other so mostly that's that that is actually the problem you see so the first point is actually patient uh, on this patient uh, one this first point i'm trying to put it in a different way actually let's say maybe you have trades monday tuesday or wednesday you're losing you're just having this losing week mostly you have to be patient just to stay out of the market maybe two days three days why just to refresh because the more you lose emotionally you just want to recover so you just take unnecessary trades sometimes you just take trades when you check three days later you will see oh i just took this trade but i see the market was doing this or the market was doing that and mostly you're going to lose that confidence because you've been losing you see you start to have that confidence once you start to make money again 
even if you've been in the market for quite some time. But the difference is people who have been in the market, they understand that, okay, there is this time where I'm going to lose, that this time where I'm just going to eat, you see. So when things are not going in your favor, take time to stay out of the market. Relax. Whether you watch movies, whether you whatever that you do, it's fine. Just take two days, maybe three days. It doesn't matter how long, as long as you can come back with fresh mindset. Emotions gone. You no longer have to actually do that. So I don't really want to make this video very long, but I think maybe you can learn one or two things. Once you stay out of the, of the market, you also taking out your emotions out of the market. You focus on a different thing. Now you're going to see the market in a different way, in a very nice way. Maybe you just have to, sometimes we just focus on the market when the market is consolidating and that it's something that makes us to lose. Why not wait for the market to follow a certain structure, maybe the, a trend or something, you see. So yeah, that was the first point. Be patient, stay out of the market for two days, three days, something like that, right? Just to refresh. So now the second point is when we lose or when you lose, if you have this losing streak, don't change your strategy, guys. Sometimes the market doesn't just move the way we want. And that happens most of the time. But that doesn't mean the strategy is wrong. Yes, you can still update or modify your strategies here and there, but that shouldn't actually happen now and then. When you lose today, tomorrow, it doesn't mean, oh, this strategy is not working. That is the problem because now you no longer have something that you're going to stick with because your strategy is actually your backbone. So don't just change the strategy now and then. If you're losing, as I told you, stay out of the market and see if maybe there's something wrong. Is the market still following the trends? Is the market consolidating? And you know that, okay, if you have a proper strategy, it will tell you to do what? To stay out. Sometimes we just push, but you, the, the strategy already told us, why not wait maybe for a breakout? Why not wait maybe for a retest? Why not wait for a candlestick to close above or below? Mostly we have that, but we don't actually follow that. Right. So that is something that you're supposed to do. Don't just change your strategies now and then. You're going to just get confused worse and like seriously worse. So follow that, right? So another thing that I, I like is sometimes we lose because we focus on so many uh, things. Different pairs, uh, commodities or indices. Why not focus on very, very few? I like to focus on NASDAQ and maybe US 30, but mostly on NASDAQ. So that is like one, actually. It's one pair. And that makes me not to trade that much. But when there is opportunities, I can easily spot them. But sometimes when the market is consolidating or going up and down or when the market wants to adjust the trends and stuff like that, yes, we end up losing, obviously. The, but the reason behind that when we lose more is because sometimes we have these different pairs. You trade currency pairs, it's gold, it's all these things. You can't keep track of everything at once. There is so much stuff going on. GDP, inflation, unemployment rate, all those things, they, are, they, they, they also have a factor, you see. So I think that is also something that actually we should also check, you see. That is something that we should also check. So, yeah, uh, try try to focus on very few things because at least when you focus on one thing, it's going to be way too easier for you to do what? To just get track. You, you get used to that and you will know some other moves. Very nice. Before you add so many things, I like to talk about this because I know it makes your job very easy. It makes your job very easy. Focus on very, very, very few, 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 few pairs, right? So the the fourth one, I think it's the third or the fourth one, it's fine. Or the, the, the fourth one is when you lose, when you see that maybe you traded several times and things were not going in your favor, reduce the risk, reduce the lot size, reduce like way, way, if maybe you were using 0 0.10, let's say maybe on NASDAQ or any other pair, just go to the smallest one if maybe you feel like maybe you still want to take trades. Reduce those lot sizes because now the loss is not going to go that aggressive. Because at the end of the day, that helps you that you're not going to uh, actually escalate your emotions. Because now you're all over the place. You just 
open these positions once you get into that, that negative you end up just closing because your emotions they are all over the place and that i also see that on myself i take a trade few minutes later i say oh maybe that was not actually right trade uh, i will go back close before it even touches my, my my stop loss once i close then the market start to go back in my favor i have to open again when i open the market turns exactly where i bought or i sold it turns there it bounces back there so i have to go back and close you see but at the end of the day the market was going in one direction the market was just going actually reversing or doing something but the problem was maybe my lot size was bigger because the loss was not really comfortable that's why i had to close that but what if maybe i reduced that lot size now instead of losing 100 now i'm losing only four five dollars that won't make me to go crazy obviously i'll just ignore that i'll just put the stop loss there and just leave it uh, to run you see so when you keep losing when you lost maybe three days four days in a row or a week or whatever or when you have this with a losing streak reduce the loss sizes then try to bounce back very slow and mostly when you reduce the loss size the market goes try to do in our favor it's not like it's going in our favor most of the time because when the market is going against us we don't really care much because the loss is not that big you see then the market will find a time to go back and bounce back mostly it's just like that you see so i hope maybe you understand that reduce the lot sizes uh, so that we don't really lose much so another thing is we're supposed to have some reasonable uh, reasonable goals or targets we have to have some reasonable targets why because sometimes you find out maybe even if maybe you're not losing or even if you're losing you find out maybe just because you, you did not reach your target you actually have to go back and try to find something which is not there you try your mind will always create these opportunities in the market you take them you're losing because the aim was to maybe let's say if the aim was to reach a thousand dollars we're trying to reach that you see we're trying to reach that even if there is no opportunities this is what i hate uh, when i trade because once i start to have this uh, goal that I, i'm supposed to reach we end up taking the wrong trades the aim is to reach that and sometimes when the market let's say maybe uh, in the three days in three days time sometimes you don't get the prop up opportunities and when you you're running against time you start to understand that no if i miss these days it means now i'm going to be, be actually behind i can't reach my target now you're trying to find something which is not there you bu just buy sell buy sell this and that then you end up actually losing so the best thing is to be why not try to be reasonable why not your target be like flexible if today there is nothing there is nothing you can't force that if there is something there's something yes we can still take that and still lose not every opportunity that we see in the market is going to pay us some opportunities are just there then when we take them we just lose just some just, just like that you see so try to make your goals or your targets way too reasonable and flexible if things don't go in your favor just know that okay i can still adjust the here or adjust that or if i can reach this much is whatever 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 you reach it's fine then now you're taking all these emotion things out of the equation now the market one way or another things you're gonna bounce back not that very quick uh, uh, anyway also this year i think i did not actually eat that much but i think it's still very early i still also have some serious targets uh, which i need to reach so yeah yeah welcome to this journey guys it's not going to be easy it's not going to be easy but let's be uh, realistic don't don't let's not just go and lose money unnecessarily when we see that there's no opportunity just because we just want to trade or sometimes we are in this uh, emotional bubble where we just like we are in a losing streak we just keep losing and we don't sometimes we don't really see that but you will see that oh but the whole week i never made something this two weeks i never made something so let's try to change from that guys so for those who wants to be part of the team guys if you want to be part of the team so i will be also uh 
I've been uh, talking about the updates of the robot and stuff like that. So that took time because people that, that we work with, actually, uh, some of them, they go to holidays. So, um, but uh, obviously this month, I will just make sure that we get that. So now we're back with that. As I told you that we're no longer going to actually sell the robots and stuff like that. So that number is actually limited. If you want that, just let me know. Just let me know that, yes, you can get that. Uh, but it's only for limited people guys because now i'm no longer going to focus much on the robots as i told you that i'll be only focusing on trading so yes that will come with some good softwares that i'm still going to share uh, in that uh, robot actually uh, everyone who purchased the robot they're going to get those softwares where they're going to like the software can analyze for them not only auto trading only so yeah if you are in the team, every progress, every changes that we do, you're still going to get that. So, but that is actually limited. If you want VIP signals, uh, that is actually fifty dollars for now, actually. So, yeah, after that, things are going back to normal. So, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends, guys. So, maybe later on, uh, we're going to talk about uh, this Edge Finder, where it's going to just tell. You can actually learn so much stuff from this. I think you can actually learn so so much good stuff on this edge finder so that's why i need to go through it with you maybe later on on our uh, youtube live so without uh, taking longer thank you very much this is kenzo extra hot forex and uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button thanks